All right, chapter three review questions. Looking at number one. Number one, the magnitude of a vector is a scalar. Explain this. Well, the difference between vectors and scalars is that scalars have magnitude only, while vectors have magnitude and displacement. So, for an example, speed is a scalar quantity. Let's say our, our scalar quantity is five meters per second. To turn that into a vector, you say five meters per second forward. You give it a direction. So that means that that scalar, that five meters per second, is part of a vector. You know, a vector contains a scalar and a direction. That's kind of what it's getting at here. It's just really to hammer home the difference between vectors and scalars. Number four, what's another way of saying negative 30 meters per second west? Well, west is negative, so you got negative 30 meters per second west. That would mean you must be going to the east. So you could just say positive 30 meters per second to the east. Again, it's a perspective thing. Number eight. You got this dog searching for his bone. He walks three and a half meters south. Let me get an arrow here. He walks three and a half meters to the south. And then he walks 8.2 meters at an angle of 30 degrees north of east. So here's my north and east line. I think if I recall, it goes about like that. And uh, I'll draw the angle in in just a moment. And then goes 8 meters west. And if I recall, it ends up being like that. Now, they say, where does this angle go? 30 degrees north of east. So start to the east, go to the north, there's your angle. To solve this, you need to break this angled vector into two different vectors. We need to break it into an eastward vector and a northward vector. Once you break it into the north and the east, forget about the original angled one, add up your north-south, and add up your east-west, and you'll have this leftover. Let me kind of put this in this weird green here. You'll find that you have gone north a little bit, and you'll find that you've gone west a little bit. So overall, you'd, you'd find that those two distances and find the diagonal. Number nine, then. you got this maze picture here, and they got these three consecutive displacements, blah, blah, blah. The first one is eight meters to the west. The other is 13 meters to the north. Uh, use a graph graphical method to find the third displacement. T to do a graphical method, you would measure, I believe it is, uh, 8 meters west, then you'd measure 13 meters north, and then you measure, if you drew it right, and you did the Pythagorean theorem to double check, you'd measure that and you'd come up with the answer for the third displacement, which brings it back to the original starting point. Number 22 we'll do here, and then we will end this recording. Number 22 here, a quarterback takes the ball from the line of scrimmage and runs backward 10 meters. I'm going to make backward be up on my page. He runs backwards 10 meters, runs sideways 15 meters, and then throws the ball down the field like 50 yards. Something like that, right? Um, what is the magnitude and displacement of the resultant? So let me change the color of the line. We want to know overall from start to finish what is the displacement. Well, we need to do a little subtraction. So subtract this from this, right? And uh, move this one down. So you take your, your, your 10 yards and you'll subtract it from the 50 giving you a grand total of 40 downfield and 15 across. Do Pythagorean Theorem and you can solve for that problem. Well, I guess we can do 23 also. A shopper pushes the cart 40 meters south down an aisle, turns 90 degrees, goes 50 meters, and then turns another 90 degrees, goes 20 meters. Now, the beautiful thing about this is they never tell you which way you turn on the other one. You could backtrack or you could go farther, which would, you'd have to have an enormous grocery store to do that. But here's the big idea. Let's say you go 40 meters south down the aisle, 
and you turn 90 degrees and go 15 meters and then you turn 90 degrees and go 20 well we could option A turn 90 degrees and go 20 here find the displacement or let me change the arrow we could turn 90 degrees and go this way find the displacement I suppose you could also interpret it and the answers will come out no different at all I guess if you went 90 degrees this way and went 20 or you went 90 degrees that way and went 20 uh, your answers would be no different whatsoever it just to the different direction overall I want you to find two answers go ahead delete those um, I want you to find the blue overall well, give me the arrows find the blue overall I want you to find this one and then find this pink overall one I want you to find that one those two options okay just add and subtract your vectors in order to work that out